Hello everyone, welcome to Java Expert. In today's video, we will discuss about chain or chain of responsibility design pattern in microservices architecture. What is chain or chain of responsibility pattern? Chain or chain of responsibility pattern provides a single output which internally combines the chain of multiple service outputs. Basically, when you are giving any request to any service, that particular service may internally call multiple services to fulfill the client's request. Right? Chain or chain of responsibility pattern can be implemented via asynchronously or asynchronously. Always recommend not to chain more number of services, which may lead to keep client wait for more time. Right? No, since we are no chaining the services one by one, if that number of chaining is no getting increased and the client needs to wait for more number of time right that is obvious right because internally we are making multiple calls so obviously the client need to wait for long time so there is a recommendation now to change more number of services this is a simple diagram so by seeing this you can e easily able to understand how this chain or chain of responsibility design pattern works right so in this diagram you no know, client you know giving the request to service one and service one invoke the service two and service two invoke the service three there is no limit that you no know, we have to use only the three services in the chain no it not like that it is not in that way if the requirement you no know, needs then you can increase the number of chaining but anyway you have to consider in the response time also if we keep on increasing the number of chainings the response time will no increase the client needs to wait for more number of times right so we are going to you know uh, perform one simple example to show how this chain or chain of responsibility design pattern works so this is the example we are going to know do it in practical way the client to you know transaction service and transaction service internally going to call rate service we are going to know chain only the two services transaction service and it called the rate service that's it the simple example we are going to you know so it in the practical way yeah let's get into the practical so as you know that we already created many services in our previous videos we have created fund transfer account banking gateway services and you no know, report services we have created and now we have already you know uh, done the practical session for a few uh, design patterns as well right so in on top of that only we are going to show how this chain or chain of responsibility design pattern works right so i have created bank rate as a service already have created this one uh, because see this is nothing new in this bank's rate uh, service if you know how we have created account or fund transfer service and this is in the similar way so that's the reason i don't want to know waste your time so we already created it. I, I just show you what are the things we have done that in a simple way right so we have a controller here we have you no know, done the endpoint as a cross rate and we have a model so we have a from currency to currency and cross rate very simple model we have here and we have a service we have a service interface and it got implemented the implementation is just a simple implementation i you know gave you nothing fancy or uh, is not a production created rate module just to show how this works i just put up the from and two currencies are same and the rate will be one if the difference one i just fix the rate okay there is no uh, currency code based currency. I just you know fix the rate right. So this is the bank's rate service. So this bank's rate service will be invoked by uh fund transfer uh, service, right? So fund transfer uh, no uh service we have to update here because yes, I have not done that, so we will let's do that. So we have fund transfer service implementation we have here already. So here we will implement that one. So cross rate I have already created here. So what we have to do is in the service uh, fund transfer service, whenever we are going to create the transaction, we are going to process the transaction. If you are not aware of what we did in the fund transfer service, please go through our previous videos. You can able to able to understand easily what you have done earlier in the fund transfer account services, so that you can able to relate what you are trying here, right? So you can able to relate it easily, right? So we are going to call this bank rate service from here so what we have to do is first we have to create a bank no uh, rates object here so that's we have model as a cross rate
new cross rate of so what are things we have we have a currency i just put this fixed as inr only right so we are going to get the rates from rates model so for that we need to give a input object as a cross rate right so i'll inject rest template right now let's call our service Bill dot we can use this method So first things will be URL. So we are uh, created the service closed. This is the port we are used to expose our bank and bank rates module, right? Banking rates cross rate was the end point. Okay. So next is what is the method? http method dot suppose method and what is the response now uh basically the request entity we have to pass right so, request entity of the request in a, 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 a the request is cross rate so i'll pass that And the response type also cross rate dot class, right? Getting some error, we'll see what it is. Method HTTP entity. HTTP entity of request entity and response type. So basically, it is it's not a request entity, it's a HTTP entity. Right. So this will return the response entity. So response entity of cross rate equal to response entity right so what we can do is so once we get the rate from the uh, bank's rate service we just multiply with our amount which you are receiving in the process transaction method right so first we will take the cross rate use the same object we will override that object here so object will be in the get body right so now we will override the amount. Right. So in the fund transfer, fund transfer dot set amount. Fund transfer dot get amount multiply by cross rate dot get cross rate right we nothing doing fancy here we just get the rate and you simply modify you know, multiplying that rate with the amount which you are receiving it and you are saving that object in the database that's it right so let's start the service both services and we will do test this one First, we'll go and check the bank's rate uh, service. We'll show that application at property. So this application name we have and 987 is a port which are uh, bank rate services running. Let me start this one. Yeah, it is started. Now, 
let's start fund transfer service also yes both services are started now now let's test our uh, no uh, service open the postman right so first let's test our you know uh, bank rates service separately no right i'm just giving the from currents in two currencies same inr and inr let's see what is the response we are getting it we are getting cross rate as one because we are giving the same currency that is what the you know service implementation we did if the same currencies are given then the rates will be one if you are giving any different currencies for example inr to usd and we'll get some 10 point something because the rate we have hard coded over there in the code right just the example is not a fraction grade uh, rate model just you know show you how this works right now now we know for uh, actual no uh, process transaction service basically right so this is our json we are giving transaction id from account to account these things you you know already we have you no know, uh, seen our fund transfer module right so i'm giving amount as thousand right because so there i have a hard coded currency from currency to currency as inr and inr only so i'm giving the request now now we got the response amount is coming as same because there we hard coded currencies right in the code what it is we hard coded the same currency so it will return the rate as one so thousand multiplied by one it will be thousand only now what we can do is we will change the rate here and we will try now we stop this now i am changing inr to usd right now we will start the service now what we are expecting is we, so we are expecting the rate should be 10 point something which we are hard coded in the uh, rates module and that should be multiplied with the amount which you are passing in the json request right let's try now now i am giving the same request nothing changed i am giving the same request let's see what is the response we are getting it yes now what you pass what, what is the amount you are passing is thousand and since we are giving from one two currencies are different one so we are getting rate as some 10.34 uh, something rate we are getting the rate we hard put in the rates module and that is multiplied with the amount which are passing in the request right so what we are trying to you know learn here is this is a this is how this you know chain the chain of responsibility design button works we are giving the request to transaction module transaction module internally calls the rate module and you no know, it, 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 it will complete the request of the client you got it right so that's how this chain of chain, chain of responsibility design button works we have done only the two chainings right because just to show how this works so in the real time we may have a multiple you know um service may be chained right so we are not you no know, uh, i show you the very simple example because that is nothing fancy or nothing new we are going to learn with this one it's a very simple thing so just want to show it in the practical way how it is works so that's what i have tried to show that and i have done that right so i think you would have understand how this chain or chain of responsibilities in button works and in the uh and in the next session we will see the some other design pattern the practical exams thank you guys thanks